Hello everyone, this is Mr. Shaver again. I'm going to talk today about underglaze and specifically scraffito. Uh, these are two really useful things uh, for doing your clay projects and adding a lot of really cool uh, colors. There's really cool uh, techniques you can do with them. It's a, They're really versatile. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about those things, show you some examples, do a quick demonstration. Um, I won't get into all the amazing things you can do with it because underglaze is extremely versatile, but I wanted to show you a few things. So if you don't know what underglaze is, this is one of the underglazes I have. It's the Mako Fundamental Underglaze. Underglaze is essentially colored clay slip. So when you put it on your clay, it will fire to the same temperature as the clay. It's really great when you can put it on some wet clay. So I have a slab here that I put it on, but you can use it on clay that's been bisque fired. So on this piece, I actually fired this. Um, so the underglaze has been fired, but I wanted to keep it this way so you can see what that looks like. Um, and you can uh, use it a lot like paint. Uh, so underglaze is great. So it usually comes in a huge variety of colors. I have the black here, but I have a palette here of blue and green. I want to show you how that works. Uh, but you can use it a lot like paint. You can sponge it on. So underglaze, the, the more I use it, the more I find uses for it. Um, so first, I want to show you a couple of examples of the underglaze and scraffito. So, so scraffito is when you put an underglaze on the clay, pretty much when it's wet. Um, I like to put it on when it's not super wet, when it's getting closer to dry. And it'll kind of look something like this. So this is the underglaze on this non-fired clay slab. Now the clay is a little more rigid, but it's still soft enough I can work in. Now you can do scraffito with pencil. You can do it with the different loop tools that you have. Um, I like these little tools, have these little loops right at the end. And scraffito is essentially where you draw into the clay and remove it. And where you remove that clay, uh, the lines or the drawings will be white because the clay is in our clay body we is, is white. So whatever's underneath the underglaze, that's the color your lines will be. So a really quick demonstration of that. This is really easy. And then I'll show you some of the possibilities with it. So I'm move my camera down. So I put this underglaze on here a little while ago. I let it dry so it's not coming off. But I can take this tool and just remove some material just removing that top layer and you can get these lines. Now, you can probably start thinking of different possibilities for this in terms of uh, drawings, in terms of patterns and designs, um, but it's really versatile. So we could do all sorts of things with this. I like to do patterns and designs, but here's a loop tool using it. Um, you can remove more if you need to. And just wherever you remove that underglaze, the color will be the color of the clay. In our case, uh, it's a white clay body. Um, it's a really simple technique, but it can do lots of really cool things. So here's a student example of Scraffito. They did the whole plate black and then did a nice kind of almost like a intricate flower pattern um, as their design with the Scraffito. Um, I've used it on a wheel thrown piece and then I put a uh, transparent glaze over it so I just kind of removed some of the material and then put a clear glaze over the top so you can still see the black. Um, I've done this plate design with the blue underglaze graffito. Uh, two more examples. Here's one with a really simple pattern that turned out really nice. Just black on the outside of this pot here. And then I did a slightly more intricate one with this bowl, a little bit more intricate design, but again, it's just putting that underglaze on there and then wherever you remove it, uh, it's gonna be white. But I also said that you can use the underglaze like paint. So in this case, I was doing kind of a, a Bigfoot themed one just for fun. I was making a lot of wood texture on this one. So, you know, here's Bigfoot taking on these campers, but you can see uh, all these different colors I was using. And there's the two people in the tent. So you can use it like paint. Use the other side with the, the Bigfoot design. Um, I might have used a little bit more on here, but this was just kind of a fun one. Uh, but you can see where you can kind of play around with mixing the colors. So to show you, I have like my palette here and I have my green 
bright green underglaze and I have my blue underglaze. Okay, so you can take these colors, right, and you can mix them to make a new color and it's going to work just fine. Now you can't do that necessarily with just regular glazes because they're made up with really specific recipes. But this is going to make more of a, a turquoise design. Now the other thing you can do is like I said, you can use it kind of like, you can use it kind of like paint. So if I come in here a little bit, I could take some of my green and kind of start putting it on there, right? And then I could take this in between color, it's kind of turquoise and I can mix it in. And I can make kind of a gradient and mix these colors right on the clay, just like you would paint. And when you're, when it's fired, you're going to have that effect. And then you can keep it like that. You can put a clear glaze over it. Um, so there's lots of really cool things you can do with the underglaze. You can put them in little squeeze bottles and use it to do fine details. Um, and then let's say like I goofed this up. Whoops. It's really easy using the Scraffito technique to just go in and say, oh, that's not what I wanted. And you can lightly remove the material where you didn't want it. So that's a really brief coverage of underglaze and a really brief coverage of Scraffito. But I wanted you to know about those techniques so you could use it in your lessons if you wanted to. You knew what their capabilities were. Um, and maybe it'll spark some ideas for what you would like to do in your project. If uh, it speaks to you, that's great. Um, I will talk to you guys next time.